Hi everyone. In uh, today's video, I take up a new question from Ship Stability 2, Captain Subramaniam's book. Uh, this is exercise 22, which deals with trim type A problems. And uh, this is question number 10. This is an unsolved question in the book. So uh, I'll just show you the solution and also explain to you how you can work out problems or similar problems that require you to find HF. So here there is a ship which was trimmed 0.5 meter by head and after carrying out a certain loading where 500 tons was loaded in number 4 lower hold, uh, the HG of which was 40 meters aft, the trim was 0.5 meter by stern. If MCTC was 185, you have to find the HF. Alright, so as you guys know that I like to draw diagrams for me to be able to understand what's going on. So let me just draw a diagram here um, and I'll draw a small diagram this time just to show you what's happening. And this is just for my understanding. So in this case here, and I like to exaggerate it a little bit, the vessel was trimmed by, uh, the vessel was trimmed by head. So that means that the stern or the aft draft was, uh, oh sorry, forward draft. So forward draft, so I should have probably drawn it a bit better. Um, so forward draft has to be more for the vessel to be trimmed by head. So these are little things that you have to be very mindful of. And you might think that why are we so worried about this? This will be very helpful for you to be able to understand what's going on. It's very important. Diagrams are very important. So you can see that I have intentionally drawn the aft draft to be lesser than the forward draft. So this is forward of course and this is aft if you didn't get it from my drawing. So that means vessel is down by the head or trimmed 0.5 meters by the head. So I'll draw this here 0 0.5 meters by head. And you carried out certain loading operation. Now you don't know the length of the vessel. So what we can draw is we can just draw the midship somewhere in the center of the vessel here and we call it H. And what is given to you is you, you have loaded 500 tons in number 4 lower hold. HG is 40 meters aft. Now what is HG? Is that somewhere here, let's say it's called number 4, number 4 lower hold. And you have loaded 500 tons of cargo. G is nothing but the center of gravity of the cargo space. And the longitudinal distance between the midship and the center of gravity of the cargo space is given to you as 40 meters. And why I drew it in the aft? Because it says it's aft aft of the midship that's why i drew it in the aft part of the vessel all right so once you did that loading of course you loaded in the aft part of the vessel so the aft draft had to increase because of which after loading operation was carried out the vessel kind of trimmed by stern this time because you you loaded 500 tons of cargo so i will draw aft draft more than forward draft this time and i just try to exaggerate it a difference of 0.5 is not as noticeable <laughs> as you see in my diagrams here but i like to do that so now the change in the draft is or change in the rather trim now vessel is trimmed 0.5 meters by stern all right midship stains remains the midship and uh, loading has been carried out somewhere here so i'll just change the color of the pen i used to you i used to like uh, or rather i like using the color blue only for water level so so what has happened here is that the vessel initially in the first case before loading it was 0.5 meters down by head and in the second case after loading operations it is now 0.5 meters by stern that means the vessel came up by 0.5 meters first became even keel and then went down by 0.5 meters to make it a stern trim in the second case right so because the vessel was down by the head by 0.5 meters it first came up it came up from the forward part the vessel must have become even keel and then it went down by 0.5 meters so what was the change in the trim tc 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 which is equal to 1 meter or 1 meter is also equal to 100 centimeters so did you get it? So that's why I said drawing diagrams becomes very important. So initially the vessel was down by the head. When you started, you must have started loading the cargo here. 
मे बी टेन टर्न्स ट्वेंटी टर्न्स थर्टी टर्न्स और हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड टर्न्स एट सर्टन स्टेज द वेसल मस्ट हैव बिकम इवन कील वेन द वेसल वॉज इवन कील इवन कील मीन्स बोथ फॉरवर्ड एंड ड्राफ्ट ड्राफ्ट वॉज सेम हियर द चेंज इन द ट्रिम वॉज पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स बिकॉज द वेसल केम अप बाई पॉइंट फाइव एंड देन एज यू केप लोडिंग मोर दिस इज द सिनारियो दैट हैपन वेर द वेसल वेन डाउन बाई पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स सो दे वॉज अ फर्दर चेंज ऑफ पॉइंट फाइव बिकॉज ऑफ विच द टोटल चेंज इन द ट्रिम कैन बी डिफाइंड एज पॉइंट फाइव प्लस पॉइंट फाइव इज इक्वल टू वन मीटर और हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर्स सो देर फोर वी कैन से टी सी और चेंज इन द ट्रिम इज हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर्स ना ऑल्सो द फॉर्मूला फॉर चेंज इन द ट्रिम इज टी सी एंड ट्रिमिंग मोमेंट वी कॉल इट टी एम डिवाइडेड बाई एम सी टी सी हॉल इट आई एक्सप्लेन वॉट ट्रिमिंग मोमेंट इज टी सी एज यू नो इज हंड्रेड ट्रिमिंग मोमेंट इज नॉट गिवन टू अस बट वॉट इज एम सी टी सी एम सी टी सी इज गिवन टू अस वन एटी फाइव मीटर्स सो वी हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट वी यूज ऑल दीज वैल्यूज दैट आर गिवन टू अस all right we use all these values otherwise what is the importance of these values that are given to us all right so this is 185 so trimming moment will be equal to 100 times 185 which is equal to 18500 also what is trimming moment trimming moment is nothing but weight loaded multiplied by the distance distance of what distance of distance of the center of gravity of the cargo compartment cog of the cargo compartment to the center of flotation longitudinal distance that is the distance i'm talking about not hg but something we call as center of from center of gravity of the cargo space to the center of rotation now we don't know where center of rotation is unfortunately we have to find out center of rotation so i will make an assumption that center of rotation is x meters forward x meters forward that is my center of rotation so if my assumption is wrong i will get the answer in negative so then i will know that the center of rotation was not x meters forward but x meters aft so let's make an assumption you can make another assumption if you want if you want you can make it x meters aft doesn't matter you will still get the right answer and uh, if you get if your assumption is wrong you will get the answer in negative then you all you have to do is just change your assumption so let's take the assumption here i assume that the center of rotation is x meters forward so that means the distance between the center of gravity of the cargo compartment to center of rotation is 40 plus x because i know that from center of gravity of the cargo space to h is 40 meters and if my center of rotation is x meters forward the total distance will become 40 plus x meters right so weight i know i have loaded 500 tons and now distance i know is i will assume it is 40 plus x so here this equation becomes 500 tons cargo loaded multiplied by where was it loaded at 40 plus x meters because the center of rotation determines the trim that's why we always measure from the center of rotation to the center of gravity of the tank space e equals 18500 500 times 40 is 20000 i hope i'm right plus 500 x you have to multiply it by 500 multiplied by both the numbers 40 and x e equals 18500 so i'll keep 500 x here i think my assumption might be wrong minus 20000 so i will take 20000 to the other side because x have to be isolated x has to be kept one side to be able to find out the value plus 18500 this means 500x equals minus what is it 1500 or x equals minus 1500 divided by 500 which is equal to minus 3 meters Now x is meters. Remember. Now because it's a negative answer, it means my assumption was wrong. So to make instead of making it positive, what I will say is three meters, or center of rotation, center of rotation is equal to three meters aft of midships, not forward of midships, because my assumption was wrong. So I can put here assumption incorrect. 
incorrect initial assumption incorrect you can put that here initial assumption incorrect center of rotation is 3 meters aft of midship so that's why here what i will do is this is incorrect assumption center of rotation will be somewhere here 3 meters aft of the midship that is how you find the hf so if you had probably assumed that that the center of rotation is 3 meters aft you would have got a positive answer you would have got x equals a positive 3 and you would have got the correct answer anyway all right i hope this helps and uh, let me know if it doesn't uh, then you put it in the comments section i'll try to address or answer the comments i'm trying to keep the video short so i will not talk anymore uh, all the best with your studies guys and uh, keep studying hard Bye.